Spend enough time digging through Android's endless sub-menus and you're bound to discover a feature whose purpose eludes you. The truth is that depending on your familiarity with Android, the list of those obscure features can be either relatively short or excruciatingly long, so I picked out just four features that most people are going to pull a blank when told about. Let's start with number one, Wi-Fi frequencies. Alright, so advanced users with some digging will quickly get the idea behind this one, but if you're not part of that elite club, you might pull a blank. What this feature lets you do is tell your phone to only scan for 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz routers, or both, which is the default option. Number two on our list is the encrypt phone feature, which comes standards on the likes of the Nexus 6 and Nexus 9, but pretty much no other devices. Encrypting your phone may slow it down a bit, but provides an extra layer of security in the event of theft or malicious attack, as all apps, data and media can only be unlocked with the appropriate key. If you'd like to encrypt your phone, you better have some time on your hands though. It wipes your data and requires about an hour to complete the process. Made available in Android Lollipop, screen pinning is a rather interesting feature that lets you temporarily share your device with people who you don't necessarily trust not to mess with your Facebook. It works like this. Once you activate it in settings, you can pin a single screen of a single app by clicking the pin icon on the bottom right of each card within the recent menu. Doing so will forbid the guest user from leaving it, so he won't be able to snoop on your photos, dial people or do anything else without your password. So it's a feature that's all kind of niche, but we reckon it might come in handy once a year. If you have ever used an Android device that was imported and not meant for use on your home network, your carrier might have sent you an automatic message warning you that automatic configuration is not available for it. In those cases, you have to manually add your carrier's detail through the access point name menu to get essentials such as mobile data working. Thankfully, once you Google the details, it's a piece of cake and much easier than it looks. So there you go, four obscure but potentially useful features in Android and what they do. This was Chris with Phone Arena, thank you guys for watching and until next time.